and we are back. This is part three of the zombies playthrough, play, just fun time on farm. If you haven't seen the first two parts, I would highly recommend going and seeing them right now. I'll put a link to them. And I kind of wanted to shoot my Chi-Con there. Because why not? There's no reason not to. It is such a fun gun to use. I love it in multiplayer. One of my favorite guns. But, you know. The gun being good in multiplayer does not mean it's good in zombies. Cough, cough. That's the moss of Black Ops 1. Oh, reverse teabag. Get teabag to buy the zombies. That's how we do it. But I kind of cut it off short at the end of the last video, and I do record these very close. I actually record them in the same session. I just end the recording because I honestly, I'll... I'll probably sound really stupid, but I have no idea how to split up videos just with only Windows Live Movie Maker. So I just end up recording the videos whenever I want to change them, and it tends to work out pretty well for me. But sometimes the videos kind of they kind of carry over, and then bad stuff like this happens, and that's a that's just sad. I don't see any of the zombies to kill with my amazing pistol that you can't get in this because there's no pack. Up. We're down again. No, we're not. We're beat. And there, we have no quick revive anymore. Oh well. We're gonna go here. Okay, we got our juggernaut. And now. Oh no. Back on time. There we go. No, no, uh oh's there. Should not have even said uh oh, really. We got this! We got this! And we still have two more lives in theory because we get a quick revive and then we get that life after the next quick revive. Seems like I could shoot faster almost with this gun with a double tap. Not sure about that, but I know it. I'm pretty sure double tap raises the rate of fire for all weapons, not just full auto weapons. Double point, nuke, there we go. I'm not going to get double tap right now, because I don't want to get caught in the middle of this round. Up in that far up into this barn, because I don't know what's in there. I don't know how to run circles in there. But sometimes when I just... I don't know. If I would actually concentrate on zombies instead of trying to talk to you guys, I would probably get a lot farther, but then it would not be as fun, really. Because zombies, after a while, does get repetitive. It's the same thing, if you actually think about it. It's you running in circles with zombies behind you. You can try to camp, but zombies camping is not like multiplayer camping. It does not work. And for that matter, multiplayer camping does not even really work that well anymore. But it's how it is still love zombies. I think half the fun of it is the fact that it's repetitive. You kind of know what's coming and that kind of relaxes you a little. Makes it funner. Did I really just say funner? Makes it more fun. And it is very fun game mode. Uh, I mean... I actually didn't really get into zombies much until Black Ops 2, because, I mean, ugh, Black Ops 1. I did not get into zombies much until Black Ops 1 because I just, I didn't see the big deal about it. I was more into multiplayer. I had a relatively high KD. I held a 3 KD on Black Ops 1 on the PlayStation 3, and that was really the first Call of Duty that I got pretty serious into. That was where it turned from just every now and then playing and oh this is fun to more of if I wasn't getting my high kill streaks every game it was a disappointment and at that point really I was taking the game much too serious and I was not having nearly as much fun and I decided I'm gonna take a break I'm gonna try this zombies thing and that's where I found that's how I found zombies pretty much that's how I learned 
how fun it was. And I, I really came to enjoy zombies. First couple of times I played, I had no idea what training was. I had no idea what anything was, really. But I was just kind of confused. I could not even find the mystery box on the maps I was playing. I was getting all the power-ups as soon as I saw them, like that nuke right there. I would have just gone ahead and picked it up, but I know now that's a waste of points. And I just realized as I'm saying that's a waste of points that we're not really hurting for points. So, I'm not even sure if Galvan Uncles is a one hit at this point, but you know that we got our insta kills one hit for sure. And I don't like to trade in guns until I'm out of ammo because I find that that conserves a lot of ammo and points. And if we were pack a punching, it'd be a much bigger deal then also because pack a punching, you could easily spend this nearly 20,000 points I have accumulated so far very easily and relatively fast. And this gun right here, this 5.7, is actually very strong. I'm not sure what the headshot multiplier is in zombies, but it seems like up until a very high round, I'm thinking about, well not very high, but very high for a pistol, round about 12, maybe, maybe 13, it's a one shot headshot. That's what I feel like it is, I do, I don't know, when it starts getting into the later rounds, I kind of attempt, I kind of slow down on on accuracy and just you know, try to shoot really fast but I still try to keep accurate more than anything else because I don't like wasting ammo it's one thing that has transferred over from multiplayer was I actually held a very high accuracy for what I think in multiplayer I actually had around a 22 accuracy and I like to be accurate I don't like missing with some, I'm down. No, I'm not. There's a carpenter over there. Just gonna go ahead and get that. But the reason I don't really upload much, I uh, ha haven't uploaded multiplayer on, um, of Black Ops 2, is because I'll be honest. I'll be brutally honest with you guys. I am not that good on PC multiplayer. I have a rounded 2 KD on most games, and that's just, I don't feel that's very good. I have one or two good games where I've gone like 40 and like, I had a 40 and 2 and no, it was about a 30 and 2 in one round with the KSG, I don't know if you guys would like to see that, but I could upload it. Well anyway guys, I kind of carried over a little, like last time, into the next round, but this has been the more annoying Anselm, this has been part 3 of this zombies fun on farm, I'm out.